Hi everyone, uh, in this video I want to show you my code for uh, a face recognition password. This is uh, a security code that you can use it to secure any other part of code or any data you want to secure uh, by logging in only by your face because it is a face recognition that is identified only to you so uh, any other face in front of it will not be able to enter okay so let's let's try this one okay here is a code and you start running and here you see it it uh, opens a webcam of your uh, laptop or your pc whatever uh, kind of pc uh, that you need to have a camera installed in it and you need to be in a place of good lightning okay yes so it can detect your face here you see the known user here and you see it is no it is trained for my face and it's i have entered my name here so it knows me ahmed okay and i only can log in so let's try to to do this so stand still look at the camera and say login welcome ahmed how are you today Okay, so that that looks fine. It says welcome. That means it it has logged in. Okay, now let's try to uh, use another face. I I got a picture here, so maybe I can use it to like, maybe break the program. That I'm another one. We will try this. Let's see if it works. Okay, now that's it. Sorry, I do not know you. Well. That's that's good. Now it says I don't know, you, uh, don't know you, so you can't log in. Uh, okay. Now what if I want to train the program to uh, uh, another user? Okay. To do this, you need the original user to give you the access. This is the, the idea of being secure, right? You can't set another password unless you have the, the previous one. So you can't actually set another face password unless you have the user's the original user to give you access so let's uh, try this one when you hit set another user it takes a picture and you have to recognize you okay Ahmed I am ready for a new user now it has recognized me so it says now I'm ready for a new user so when you do this you train for a new user okay so let's uh, Train it for this picture. Let's try to train it for this picture. Maybe it will work. And then you hit train for new user. You hit a name. Let, let's call him Jack. Okay. And okay. Now say hit OK and start training. Okay, now it's finished, so it says done. And here you say that there is a new user called Jack. So it should recognize now Jack and doesn't recognize me. So let's try to log in. Sorry, I do not know you. Okay, so it didn't recognize me now because it's a new user. So let's try this new user. Sorry, I do not know you. Okay, maybe the picture is not. Let's try again. Uh, okay, let's try like this one. Welcome, Jack. How are you today? Okay, and, and here you see, maybe the picture is not uh, set right. So, now it can recognize the the one we call Jack and we need Jack again to set another user and, and so on now you will say well if you're gonna share the program with me how I'm gonna change the password well of course I I will share the code with you and tell you the trick to break the loop and put the first user uh, but after that you will have to 
keep changing by by going uh, by the rules okay. and inside the code you will find the part where I commented as enter here the code you want to protect hey, hey. okay and how how are you today then it does whatever you want to do here it is the code you want to protect uh, and if it didn't log in then it will say sorry I, I don't know you okay I hope you like uh, this video I hope you subscribe to my channel and uh, you will find the code in the description thank you for watching